Amir lives in the Middle East. He recently converted from Islam to Christianity and wanted to learn the Bible so he could know God better. However, due to security concerns, he has little contact with other Christians. So he did the same thing that Francis did. Francis is from Central Africa. He wanted to learn the Bible so he could teach his village about Jesus Christ. But there was no missionary to train him, so he did the same thing that Veer did. Veer is from India. He wanted to learn the Bible so that he could teach people to take the gospel to the other villages and start churches. So he did the same thing that Lucas did. Lucas is from Western Europe. He wanted to learn the Bible better so that he could be more effective witness for Christ. So he did the same thing that Ethan did. Ethan is from Canada. He was planning to go to Bible school, but the school canceled classes during the COVID-19 pandemic. He did not want to wait for classes to resume, so he did the same thing as Felipe did. Felipe is from a South American village. His pastor asked him to teach Sunday school, but he felt his Bible knowledge was insufficient. So to help himself prepare to teach, he did what every one of these men did. What did they do? They all searched the internet to learn the Bible online. Although these men are fictitious, their stories are indicative of people from all over the world. There was already a movement towards online learning before COVID, but the pandemic has only accelerated the growth of online learning. And this trend is not going away anytime soon. Sadly, while searching for an online Bible school, it is highly unlikely for a person to just stumble upon a school that would provide a doctrinally sound Bible education. Also, many overseas students are not only hindered financially from studying online, but many are educationally challenged and struggle to understand Western college level courses as well. These difficulties created a gap between a person wanting to learn the Bible and getting a doctrinally sound Bible education. God has burdened our church to step in and bridge this gap by starting Global Baptist Bible College, an online Bible school for students outside the United States that is doctrinally sound, completely free, and clearly communicates the truths of the Bible at the educational level of the student. Now, the goal of this school is twofold. First, we have a Mark 16, 15 mandate to preach the gospel to every creature. With technology as it is today, we can literally send the gospel worldwide. Second, we want to assist church planning missionaries as they carry out the Great Commission. Global Baptist Bible College has the potential to enlarge not only the Langs ministry as they branch out into other parts of the world, but the school could also benefit both current and future missionaries as well. In 2005, we were ministering to Hmong refugees that came from Laos in a refugee camp in North Central Thailand. We started teaching the Bible and evangelizing the lost. Many families came to Christ in salvation. The Christian leaders came and asked if we would start a church. They never heard of a Baptist, so we taught them the importance of scriptural church authority and other key Baptist distinctives. After a few days, the leaders came to us and said that they needed to be scripturally baptized. Pastor Skeving traveled to Thailand, and we started Nam Khao Baptist Church. Over the next four years, dozens of men went through the Bible Institute. At the end of 2009, the Thai government forcibly repatriated all the refugees back to Laos, and the church members were scattered in small groups across northern Laos. But what the devil meant for evil, God meant for good. To date, there are a total of five organized churches, six mission churches, and several small groups of people hoping to become a church at some point. It is an incredible story of what God did with what started out as a group of refugees fleeing ethnic and religious persecution, but ended up with them starting churches back in their own country. And we believe that there are people groups like the Lao Hmong who are looking for sound Bible teaching and desiring to see churches started within their people group. Not only will Global Baptist Bible College help us fulfill a long-held desire to get more Bible training curriculum into the hands of pastors in Thailand and Southeast Asia, but will also help us to branch out into other parts of the world by identifying and following up with key men that can help facilitate church planting endeavors in other people groups. Every week we get inquiries abroad from people wanting to come to the States to attend Masters Baptist College. And although we can't sponsor them into the country, we can now provide them with an alternative to get a doctrinally sound Bible education through online learning. Now, 
In-person Bible teaching like we have here at Masters is more desirable than online teaching, but we also recognize that in the day we live in, with pandemics, travel restrictions, missionaries leaving the field in record numbers, coupled with the incredible explosion of the internet worldwide, that, that Global Baptist Bible College can bridge the gap to not only provide students outside the U.S. with a doctrinally sound Bible education, but also identify men that can be used in church planting endeavors. So please feel free to contact me or Brother Lang if you have any questions.